What's up, blockheads? I'm back in Zero G doing what I love the most, making up crazy nonsense. I have two separate ships to show you that are also the same ship. One of them is actually stolen. <laughs> no, I didn't steal someone's build. It's the backstory for these two builds. Let me explain. I started building this ship as a missile scow for the Red Fleet. The design was meh. The rockets had way too much self-damage to be practical. Feeling like I needed to start over to get a practical design working, it ended up on the back burner. Till I made this video, and I needed a ship to demolish. So I got totally sidetracked and started to work making this ship look cooler. I just wanted to blow it up, but it looked too unfinished to put in a video for respectable trail makers such as yourselves. I tinkered, I painted, and decaled for a while, and I ended up with this final design. It still has the same problems as the original. You just have to mount all the rockets on the nose or self-damage is pretty much guaranteed. But it's so cool looking as it is, I refuse to change a single block. So, my creative brain kicked in, and I started building a backstory involving raw corporation spies stealing the designs for a Red Fleet ship from the Superfly Galactic Headquarters. Then I realized I need the Superfly version of the ship. In my head, the build for the raw corporation ship couldn't really be finished until the ship its design was stolen from also existed. I'd been wanting a mine layer stealth ship for the Red Fleet, and this ship is the perfect size for a support class ship. So I went to work converting it into a light, fast mine ship, giving it a factory made polish and that smooth hull design Red Fleet ships tend to have. Yeah, I get the irony there. I actually built the Superfly version from the original Raw Corporation version. Well, the lore says Raw stole it, and I'm not going to argue with the lore. The Raw Corp has clearly evolved into a privateer kind of role in this story, and I'm good with that. I want their tech to feel partially stolen, and look like it was welded together by unsupervised laborers with no blueprints. The Raw Corporation has no orbital shipyards. This brings us back to why the Rocket Scout does so much self damage and handles kind of sluggish, and why I like it that way. The Raw Corporation rocket systems and targeting computers generate far more heat than the ship was designed to manage. So the Privateer version is covered with coolant pipes and ventilation ducts, giving what was originally a stealth design a massive heat and EM signature. Raw Corporation uses this to intimidate stations from long distance, making them believe a group of much larger ships is waiting nearby to back up the group that's making demands. The excessive rockets and ships inability to manage such powerful ordnance gives it a third world dictator, monkey with a shotgun kind of vibe. As janky as it is, a battle group of Raw Corp Rocket scows parked outside your space station is a serious threat. Many defenseless chirpos have had to surrender all their snacks to Raw Corporation privateers. So yeah, as I said, I couldn't find a way that looked good to keep the rockets from doing self damage while strafing above 50 miles per hour. So I made up all this nonsense. That's my version of top notch engineering, folks. If you can't make it work good, make up an elaborate story about why it's not supposed to work good and make up a bad guy to blame it on. Sorry, Raw Corp. As for the stealth ship, the side wings are meant to shield the ship systems that can't be electro-coated with the radiation-absorbing shell. 
Masking the EM and heat signature from the scans of other vessels is paramount for a stealth ship. You need to look out a window if you want to spot this ship. Both ships have the same blaster loadout. Four fixed on either flank for basic point defense and a pair of three barrel nose mounted Gatling lasers to deal with slow moving threats. The similarities stop there. The Superfly ship is a lean and fast stealth ship. It has no shields, making it light and nimble but very vulnerable in open combat. A raw corpse ship has shields that were welded in anywhere they could fit, leading to a defensive system that when it's active, causes the rockets to impact the interior of the shields. Raw corporation ships of this class usually leave the system when true warships are in the area. The stealth ship's main system is the aft mine layer. With four total, it can leave a lot of problems in its wake for others to deal with. Or toss problems at you so slow, you forgot they were coming. For a heavy weapon loadout, the Raw Corp simply bolted three rocket pods onto the hull. They lack any tracking system, but they can inflict serious harm. Their main use is threatening defenseless cargo ships and space stations. So this is the beginning of the Raw Corporation privateer fleet. I'm looking forward to building more in this style. It has a no rules, uh, Nova Punk sort of vibe. So that's how ideas for builds kind of evolve in my silly brain hole. I got two cool ships out of it, both with a very unique look. They're so different it's hard to choose a favorite. How about you Trailmaker, which one do you like best? While you decide, I'll be lurking in the asteroid field, building a pirate fleet. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs>